Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a popular pop out effect from a phone as well as some text layering. So stay tuned. This is what we're going to be recreating from start to finish. So I'm going to start off by searching for a beach, which I'm going to set as my background. I'm then going to search for a phone and it can be any phone. Um, for the phone that I had used, I believe it was a Samsung, but you know, you can use any phone at all. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to um, place it like so. And, but now I need a frame, so I'm going to search for a phone frame, or it, it could be just a, and there you go. Now, you might have to try a few different frames to get the right one to, to you know, that fits the size of the phone that you have, um, but that's just, that's basically what it would look like. And now uh, I'm going to search for a motorcycle. And I'm going to choose this one right here. So um, I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm just going to minimize it and put it over here. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to squeeze it into that frame. I'm just going to double click the frame because I want to reposition it so that it looks like it's kind of halfway in and halfway uh, out. So uh, maybe like so. Okay. And now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to come up here and use the photo remover, the background remover to take the, the background um, out and um, make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to reposition it. Um, actually before I do that I'm just going to come here um, and I'm just going to select this and I'm going to lock it. Okay and then I'm going to take that and come over here that way uh, I'm not going to have a problem with uh, that moving and I'm going to make this bigger just to match the dimensions of the photo that's in there and I'm just going to try and put it right on top okay so that's kind of um, Now I'm going to have to unlock this because otherwise I can't make it bigger. So I'm just going to, now the better thing to do would be to group it. That way I can just grab it once and that's not working. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go back in here and I'm going to choose this as well because I want to include that and um, I guess I'm going to unlock it right now and now I'm going to group it. Okay, so now I can make it bigger like that. Okay, sometimes it just takes trial and error. You have to trust the process, right? Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some sand. So I'm going to add a little bit of sand there and I'm just going to um, rotate it a little bit so that um, it's kind of um, fits uh, in there and I'm just going to bring that in behind a little bit and I'm going to grab uh, some more blowing sand uh, like 
this one I'm going to flip it around like so and I'm gonna turn it like that I might make more than one um, just to make it blend uh, more and you know sometimes if you want to just make it transparent the other thing that I brought in was some more or different types of blowing sand like um, this here I added a couple of these like that and um, I also added a gradient a blue gradient like this one and I put that over here like there and then I did put that behind a couple of them and now um, after that I did add some text and um, the text that I added was get down and dirty uh, now I did use tan ashford this one and I put each word on its own line and I brought that right about there and now I'm gonna layer the words I'm just gonna left justify those words like so and I'm gonna change the color to that and I'm now gonna make a copy of that and I'm just gonna put it right on top and I'm going to use the hollow effect this one here I'm just going to change the color to white and now I'm going to push back the first one behind the phone so I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to push it in behind the phone so now you can see that you can see through these letters here uh, and you got kind of like a hollow effect so that's pretty much it i hope you liked this tutorial um, if you did please press that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to receive updates when new content comes out thank you very much for joining me for now i'll say bye bye